do I get myself into these bloody situations? Right, I'm in an A1 Quattro, which uh, at the moment seems to be quite a funky little car from where I'm sitting. I've just put my cameras in myself, so the angles will be all wrong, the audio is probably all wrong. I don't have a videographer with me at the moment. Um, this is extremely high production value, as you can see. Um, this is the A1 Quattro launch, but um, do you know what? It actually doesn't feel like a launch. It feels like a day of fun with Audi, because there's A1 Quattros, 250-something horsepower in an A1, four-wheel drive, manual gearbox. There's Stig Blomquist and a Sport Quattro, and there's also a Sport Quattro streetcar. So um, I'm just getting my cameras together, and then we're going to have, yeah, a day of fun. But this is the main event. Under that little clam-like bonnet is a familiar 2.0-litre TFSI motor, 256 horsepower, 258 foot-pounds of torque. Nothing too groundbreaking, gives a claim 0-62 in 5.7 seconds, 152 miles an hour flat out. It's a six-speed manual too. Inside it's full of expensive leathers and plastics, and there's even a little badge on the swanky wheel to remind you that you just blew 40 grand on a hatchback. Here's a terrible shot of a seat I took. It's the only one I've got, so sorry about that. Now look, there are Quattro badges everywhere. And that's the strange thing about this car. It wasn't developed by the hotheads at Audi Quattro headquarters. It was actually created by the normal road car guys, which must have caused some in-house tension, I think. That's like BMW M not doing the 1M coupe. Anyhow, here it is, cute side profile. But it does weigh 1,300 kilograms, so it's quite heavy. Big rear spoiler. Very nice twin out exhaust. 100mm tip for the geeks out there. Anyhow, at this point I tried to get under the backside to show you the funky new multi link rear suspension, but succeeded only in getting cold knees. So here's a German chap explaining it from the press conference. So if we now look at the falling independent suspension of the TTS, however, you already have an inkling of the effort required to implant it in the A1 Quattro. The first step was to define new mounting points for the power v axle. The spare wheel well and the front wheel drive A1 made way for the rear differential. Um, just been out for a go with Stig. Seems a strange place to let people drive a hot hatchback because I'm not sure how much you learn about it. This is a very rare little car, 333 for the entire world. Um, about 250 something horsepower. Um, it's small, I mean, to European people, it's kind of a VW Polo underneath. It's four wheel drive. They've made 600 changes to the car over the fastest normal. Um, A1 Quattro and it results in what we hope is one of the coolest, funkiest small cars around. I'm about to go out and do a sort of ducks and drakes lap. You can see there's a sort of vast expanse of knock that back a bit vast expanse of 
lake either side of me. I do like Sweden in the winter. It's kind of a yob's paradise. And we've got all the safety systems on. Audi love this. When you go on a launch, they just say, oh, leave all the systems on, please. Oh, don't want to leave all the systems on, do I? Yeah, we'll leave them on for a bit, learn what happens with the car and how clever they all are. Other than that, really just want to go out and hoon about. It's a lake after all. Oh, it feels quite pokey actually. This is of course, objectively, one of the most ridiculous exercises that you'll see all year because you just can't tell anything, can you? I mean, it's a, you know, it's a hatchback on ice. We'll follow this German gentleman around very slowly at 30 miles an hour. Yes. Yes, this is boring. Very boring. What can I tell you about the car? Well, I can tell you that the seat is uh, nice and comfortable. I can tell you that the rev counter ahead of me is red. That's a first for Audi, apparently. Um, and that the interior is sort of like an Audi. Um, I'm going to turn the camera off because this is utterly dull. And then something completely unexpected happened. Audi rummaged around in its corporate bag of humour and said, ah, turn all the buttons off and have some fun. So we did. So at last what I now have is a £40,000 hot hatchback, which does feel quite pokey to me, on pretty ungrippy tyres on a lake with no systems or any of that bullshit. Fast car. It is quite a fast car. I'll give him that. Do you know what? I can left foot brake, which is the first thing in Audi. Because normally in Audi's, when you left foot brake, it cuts everything, doesn't it? What am I learning about the car? Not a lot. I'm just reminding myself that I actually quite like driving on ice, cocking about in someone else's expensive car. Is this relevant though? I mean, there's only going to be 333 of these, frankly, slightly amusing cars. And that means that it doesn't really matter what I think about it, does it? Because people who buy it probably already have bought it, and they probably never will come and drive it on ice. I do love the randomness of this job sometimes. car uses the Volkswagen Group's familiar Haldex four-wheel drive system, which means it's predominantly front-driven, but if you treat it with little respect, you can make it do some fairly magnificent things, as you see here. One other thing, that manual gear shift, well, it's just proper, isn't it? Yes, so the summary is, I can't tell you anything more about the car, but I'm having a really good time. So we had some fun. I took a quick ride with the original Stig. We did learn a little bit about the A1 Quattro, but best of all, with the last shot of the day, I completely nailed the photographer. <laughs> <laughs>